Hi, I am Metro Grammatopoulos from the University of Birmingham in the UK. Our patients and their parents very often ask us whether playing a wind instrument affects the position of teeth or whether their presenting malocclusion is the product of wind instrument playing. It is indeed popular belief amongst wind instrument players and teachers that playing a wind instrument may affect the position of their teeth and therefore may lead to the development of malocclusion. In order to answer our patients and their parents' questions with certainty, we carried out this cross-sectional observational study appearing in the February 2012 issue of this journal. We compared various occlusal features on the study casts of wind instrument players with the cast of an appropriate control group in order to establish if playing a wind instrument affects the position of the teeth. There are four distinct families of wind instruments. We focus our research on the effects of playing a wind instrument on the occlusion of wind instrument players who play with a cup-shaped brass mouthpiece such as the trumpet and the trombone and those who play with a single reed instrument such as the saxophone and the clarinet. The experimental groups comprise a group of large cup-shaped mouthpiece players, a group of small cup-shaped mouthpiece players, a group of single reed players, and the control group comprise string and percussion players selected from the same organizations as the wind instrument players. This research was unique in this field due to the application of very strict inclusion and exclusion criteria. 21 professional orchestras and organizations were visited in the UK. Overall, 170 subjects met the inclusion and exclusion criteria and had impressions of their teeth taken. Statistical analysis of the data showed that there was no statistically significant difference in the overjet, overbite, upper and lower labia segment crowding, upper and lower little irregularity index, and prevalence of incisor classification. Between various groups of wind instrument players, when compared with each other and when compared with a control group. Therefore, the key finding of this research and the salient point of this mini presentation is that playing a wind instrument does not significantly affect anterior tooth position. Therefore, we may now all reassure our patients with certainty that their teeth will not become crooked if they play a wind instrument. Finally, I wish to thank a number of directors, managers, conductors and teachers who gave me permission to visit their orchestras and colleges, all those musicians who participated, the musicians who had impressions of their teeth taken, my co-authors Dr. Dopatka and Dr. White, and Miss Barrett and Mr. Linklater for their support.